going on, everyone? And welcome back to another edition of Action Sunday. And this week, um, I'm kind of going back to uh, video game adaptations, with quite possibly the first video game adaptation uh, that I've ever seen, and possibly the first video game adaptation ever made. You know what I'm talking about? Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, so uh, I think it's about time I finally look at this, because um, I've been kind of been uh, staying away from this. It's one of those movies, like, how I say it, where I keep my opinions to myself, but I think it's about time I better just uh, talk about this movie. Okay, yes. Well, we all we can all talk about how bad it is, but then again, there's also some good. So, let's see. Um, for all of us video game fans, we were all excited when we were probably younger when this movie came out. Um, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we want to see a video game adaptation of our favorite uh, plumber. And what did we get? Well, it was not really a Super Mario. Instead, it was more like a, how I say this, um, an it, interesting action set piece with, uh, you know, with feet with rolled around dinosaurs. Um, wasn't really, um, you know, Super Mario, but the only thing that, things that's, what that made Super Mario was the characters and, and practically, um, yeah, I think that was it. That and some of the elements that they've used from UI from the video game series. So yeah, so that's the only I'd say silver line I would see in that. But um, I will praise this movie for the action set piece, which I really love. It it really peaks like a a bleak, a bleak holy shit and really dystopian futuristic landscape in an altered dimension. I kind of like that whole whole idea. But of course, hey, now and let's add the fact that oh, this these are all dinosaurs technically. I'm like evolved dinosaurs, which interesting concept. I'm like all right, but but it's not Super Mario. But if you just Seriously, if you just cut the Super Mario elements out, you still have a decent action movie. I mean, like the whole it's all there. Um, you just need to fine-tune a couple of things, and it would still have something amazing. But I will say another thing that I really liked when it comes to the creature effects was um the animatronic Yoshi. Oh yeah. I admit I I'm gonna admit this my heart melted when I was like, oh my god, is that Yoshi? I'm like, where's the thing on his back? <laughs> but hell. I, it looked really, really good, and I, I remember seeing the animatronics. I'm like, "Holy shit! This is this is something groundbreaking and well ahead of its time." And this movie came out in '93. I'm I was completely shocked to find out how they did all this. It's really good, and of course, my hats off to Patrick Datopoulos to create all the creature effects. Yes, if that name rings any bells, it's the guy that directed Rise of the Lichens. So, holy shit! You've seen how far he's come, and, you, and so yeah. That's just something to think about. Like, just look at, just, just, you can hate all, hate all you want, but you can at least praise some of the, some of the things that it has. All right. Uh, but if you kind of think about it, there are some nods to his things from the, from the Super Mario franchise. Think about this, the surrounding desert, surrounding Dino Hat, where the hell, hell that place is called, or Koopa Land. I'm calling it Koopa Land. Um, it's essentially kind of like a nod to, like, the desert level in, in Super Mario Bros. 3. Kind of think about it, of course, minus the, uh, you know, the pokies, the uh, uh, pyramids and all that nonsense. Um, and then, of course, um, uh, you got Yoshi. You got that. Um, and then, oh, you know the block designs that you've probably seen almost in every level in any video game of the Mario universe? Um, that design, in design is, you can see it in the background replicated in, in the interior of uh, Koopa's Tower. Yeah. Yeah, you get it's it's one of those things you, get, you gotta pay attention. I'm like, oh wow, wait a minute. I, yeah, seriously, like, I remember like the tenth time I, I've seen this movie, I was like, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, that design on the, on the wall, on the wall. I remember that design. I'm like, oh my god, that's the interior of uh, of all the blocks that you've seen in every uh, classic Super Mario level. I'm like, that's and that's pretty cool. Then um, now of course uh, they have the uh, the bubble bombs. They those look good. But essentially just fan service. I think that was a good thing that they did. But still, uh, we were expecting it to be more like the Super Mario Brothers in the game. And in all honesty, um, if it were if it were an anime movie, I think it would have done it a little better. But here's the thing: thing an anime movie in the early '90s would probably not go well. But since now we're at, in a better, more advanced generation, and we're not there. I hear rumors that there is a uh, a Mario anime movie in the works, and I would be totally on board to seeing this. And I would be like, okay, this is how the Super Mario Brothers movie should have been made, just like this. But then again, that here's an, here's an afterthought. Do you think they'll get the get like Charles Martinet to reprise his role as Mario? But that's just something to think about. But but overall, let's focus on this. So yeah, yeah, even yeah, just 
cut the title off and just maybe change up the name and be like, yeah, it's not Super Mario Bros., but it's still a fun, fun action movie. You can probably just enjoy just, you know, it's mindless entertainment, okay? Just enjoy it for what it's worth. So if I had to give the Super Mario Bros. movie a rating, let's see, for good or for bad, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a five and a half out of ten because there's room for improvement. It's just, you know, it's the, it's the misleading titles, okay? That's what throws everyone off, all right? So that's pretty much it, okay? So you want, and so, yeah, it, it had it, it had it, it had it the moments, but it just, it just kind of made everyone disappointed at the box office and be like, okay, yeah, this was not the Mario that we know and love, all right? So just something to think about, just my own entertainment, all right? So I hope you, mm, hope, I want to hear your thoughts on me, what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for some more awesome videos.